Good morning. Welcome to Unity Church of Overland Park's Inner Connections. My name is Deborah Baker and I am delighted to be with you this morning. <sighs> Let's just let go for a moment. Let go of the day, let go of the week, the month. <sighs> just settle in. <clears throat> we know that we are infinite spirits having a human connection. And we are very, very fortunate to, to know that because a lot of people go through their human experience not realizing that there is so much more to them. So I'd like to begin by relaxing our bodies and imagining that we are getting a spiritual massage an energetic massage. So, you know, invite your spirit guides, guardian angels to assist you with this process. And just feel your feet let go, every toe, the soles of your feet, the um, <clears throat> arches, the sides, the tops, uh, your ankles, and then through your ankles into your lower legs. Feel your calves and your shins just being energetically massaged all the way to their deepest tissue. And know that as you allow this energetic energy, energetic energy, this energetic blessing, this energetic release to happen in your muscles and in your tissues and in your entire body, you make room for healing to happen, whether it's healing that you are aware of or healing that um, <clears throat> needs to happen uh, without your uh, um, knowledge. It's okay. Just allow whatever needs to happen in your body during this meditation to happen. So feel your feet and your ankles let go and now your knees and then your upper legs. Just feel your whole body just let go. And then through your upper legs to your tailbone. Feel it move up your body through your tailbone and your pelvis, moving up one vertebrae at a time. And we know that our spinal column holds our spinal cord, which contains all of the nerves in our body. So as this healing white light your love energy moves up your spinal spinal column, moves up your spinal cord. Allow it to send out relaxing, peaceful, restorative energy to your entire body. All the way up through your pelvis, your midsection, moving into your rib cage. Also notice it moving up into the tips of each of your fingers and thumbs, moving up one knuckle at a time. If you've ever had a really nice hand massage, just be sure that your hands are in a position where they can relax, not, not tightly clenched and not stretched out too far, but in a kind of a, a soft curve so that your, all of your muscles can go to a neutral position. And feel it moving through your hands, wrists, lower arms, into your elbows. Through your elbows, into your upper arms, your biceps and triceps. And also feeling it up, moving up through your rib cage, through your chest. Take another nice deep breath. And just feel that relaxation moving through your chest uh, to the level of your shoulder blades, your collarbone, coming up your arms all the way into your neck. And our neck is typically where we hold stress, tension, resistance. And so I invite you to just let it go. And feel it moving up through your neck into your head. And I, I wish you could see my dog through this whole process because he's trying to relax and he can't find that spot. And I think we can all relate to that, where we're just trying to relax and we can't find that spot. And isn't that spot 
also about giving ourselves permission. So I invite you to give yourself permission to let go. Whatever it is that's on your plate, it can wait. It can wait this short period of time while you take care of you, and I congratulate you for that. And now feel it move through your neck, into your chin, your lower jaw, your lips, your teeth, your tongue, your upper jaw, moving up the back of your neck, moving through the outside of your head, all the muscles on your head, and also through your brain. And I welcome you to set the intention to allow whatever thoughts do not serve you to let go right now. Just let them go. Allow this infinite spirit that is moving through your brain to repattern your brain waves so that you can think more clearly, you can release, relax, and you can see I've sat back in my chair so that I can relax as well. <sighs> Release, relax, allow spirit to restore your joy. Feel it moving around your ears all the way through your face, your eye sockets, feel your eyes become like pools, your eyebrows, your forehead, all the way up to the crown of your head. And just feel that restorative energy moving through your body. Imagine you will continue to get this healing, energetic massage all the while this meditation is going on. And you can continue it intentionally as long as you'd like. And so I asked my guys, what are we going to meditate on today? And what we're going to meditate on is fun. This joy is allowing more joy, more fun into your life, into all of our lives. You know, and we are taught from a very young age to take life seriously. And yet, I, I think it serves us to let go of the seriousness, to smile, to relax. I invite you, I hope your eyes are closed because I think it's easier to meditate when your eyes are closed, but smile. And when we smile, we release chemicals, our brain releases chemicals that, that bring our body joy. I did yoga this morning and um, the instructor said several times, especially when we were in difficult poses, okay, now smile. And boy, it made it so much easier. So smile. And we all know that what we focus on increases. And there's a lot of uncertainty in the world right now. So I invite you to let go of the uncertainty. Because if you, do, you can't know it, if you, you are powerless over it, there is no point in focusing on it. So let go of the uncertainty and let's shift our focus, our thoughts, to what we know. We know that we are infinite beings. We know that we are having a human experience. And I invite you to erase everything you've thought of up until now about who, what God is. And just allow that knowing to come into your consciousness. Whatever God is, whatever the infinite presence is, the divine flow, and, and I know that by using my words, I'm defining it, and I recognize that. But whatever it is, allow that knowing to just come to you. And 
one of the greatest reliefs, I think, is the, is the, the knowledge that we, while we are God expressing, we do not bear the responsibility of being a supreme being. We are not in charge of the universe. When we decided to have these human lives, we let go of some of our infinite connections in a way that we allowed ourselves to be limited. We are limited by time and space in this human experience. So, in this limitation of time and space, there's also great freedom. We still get to choose our own thoughts. So let's imagine that the infinite presence is a brilliant white or golden light or pink light, whatever color you like, inside, at the very center of your being, radiating out. And it could be rainbow colors. It's radiating out joy. Let go of your concerns and pick up on that energy field of joy that is part of your essence. Your divine essence is joy, is love. Feel that love moving in through and as you feel that joy. We are joyful beings. So as you allow the energy of joy, this white light, just focus on the white light and Imagine it pulsing, sending pulsations of joy and peace. And as it does, let go. Imagine it also can help you to release your concerns. And just be present in this now moment. And I invite you to picture yourself as a child giggling, laughing. Remember your best friend and some of the silly things you'd laugh at. Remember some of the fun things you did as a child, both alone and with other children, maybe other adults. Remember how easy it was to have fun. And now think about what is fun in your life right now. The energy of the Divine Presence is inherently fun. It's joy, it's happiness. And so what could you do today that's fun, that makes you laugh? And in that same vein, who in your life always makes you laugh, always makes you smile? I invite you later on today or tomorrow to call them up. Don't text, don't send an email, call them up, hear their voice. It is powerful healing, healing, it is healing, hearing someone else's voice laughing. Think about the person who always has something funny to say. And maybe that person is you. I had a, a dear friend who, she, was, she would make me laugh till I cried every time I was with her. And she sa I said, you are so funny. And she said, I feel like I'm funnier with you. And I think sometimes our energies click with certain people and they appreciate our sense of humor, or we appreciate theirs. And think about the things you do today that are fun. And if you can't think of anything, I'll give you a moment. That is your assignment, and I will
would really like you to message me either on the send a message through this email I mean through this uh, Facebook post or uh, through this YouTube post or just email me and tell me what you do for fun I love that I love that idea that your fun ideas can become my fun ideas and vice versa I was very fortunate to take a vacation recently and we went zip lining through the mountains of Colorado and it was so much fun and just that feeling of flying it was just oh, euphoric and so let's think about fun about enjoying this world, this beautiful world that we live in. Let's enjoy it. Let's appreciate it. What we focus on increases. And so today, this week, let's focus on joy. Let's focus on fun. Let's focus on happiness. And if your life is as scheduled and planned as mine used to be, I strongly suggest that you put the word fun in your schedule and then figure out what it is you're going to do for fun. And I would encourage you to have it be real fun and not necessarily on the computer or on an electronic device. But real fun with another human being or just by yourself. Because this is a beautiful world we live in and we deserve to enjoy it. It is autumn now and the leaves are starting to change and it's becoming beautiful and there's a chill in the air. And I just love autumn. I just love this time of year. I, I love the change of seasons. So I invite you to just be present to today, to this now moment, and to know that this moment is a gift, and you are a gift. We are so grateful that you are on this planet, and I have to remind you that you are whole and perfect, exactly as you are. So thank you for joining me today. I really am grateful for these, these times, and I send you much love and blessings. Take a nice deep breath. There we go. Namaste.